Today is Friday, January 14th, and this is William Michael of the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. Today I'm excited, sincerely excited, to announce the opening of a program that I have been wrestling with since 2014. So seven going into eight years that I've been working to try and find a solution to a real problem that's holding up Catholic education in this generation, that's really limiting Catholic education, causing a ton of stress and confusion and preventing Catholic culture from advancing beyond modern secular standards. My life's work is the restoration of classical Catholic education. That's the passion and mission that drives my entire life. I work at it constantly, all day, every day, and I've been doing so for 25 years now. And yet, this entire time, there has been a Goliath in my way. And I've tried to get around this nemesis of mine for years and years and I've never been able to figure out how to do it. I've, I've come close at times. I've proposed strategies that we could use to get past this problem, but I've always known that the ideas that I had weren't sufficient, or they were too complicated to be practical. Because this isn't a question of me getting myself past Goliath. This is a question of getting everyone, getting all Catholic children past this Goliath. That's been the challenge, and I haven't had a solution. Even the solutions that I proposed could get me past, but weren't weren't sufficient to get others past, and it doesn't matter if I get past, that's, that's not the goal. The Goliath that I'm talking about that stands in the way of any restoration of Catholic educational culture, that stands in the way of any restoration of classical Catholic education is the modern high school diploma requirement. The modern high school diploma requirement is a giant in the way. There are many different reactions that people can have to this giant in the way. But they don't solve the problem. And they actually give the giant the victory. He continues to win. Even though people may mock him, even though they may pretend that they know how to deal with him, they don't. He remains in the way And he continues to defeat Catholic people even when they pretend that they figured out how to get past him. They haven't figured out how to get past him. They've simply joined him and submitted to him in secret 
And after they've submitted to him, and after he has stripped them of all of their Catholic stuff, which he despises, after they've surrendered all the things that they're supposed to be fighting for, he's let them past. But they have never figured out how to get him out of the way and bring their Catholic stuff with them. The challenge that I've been working on for years is how to get this giant out of the way without submitting to his terms, without accepting his conditions. I don't want to let my Catholic stuff go. I don't want to accept these terms where I'm allowed to pass as long as I surrender everything that's important. That isn't a compromise. That's a surrender. And what Catholic schools and what Catholic homeschool programs have done is simply surrender to this Goliath, accept all of his conditions, and as a result seeing them as no longer opponents at all, seeing them as no threat to his own mission, he's let them pass. And they pretend in passing that they've overcome him or beat him, but they've been stripped and plundered, as it were, of all their stuff. The challenge that we face as Catholic people in the 21st century, and I'm talking to Americans, I know that there will be people from other countries who listen to this, and you have your own unique problems and your own unique circumstances, which I'm happy to talk about privately, but I'm speaking to Americans. Ever since the founding of America, Catholicism has been a chief enemy of American democracy, of American public education, of the American philosophy of life. I know that there are crazy Catholic people who Again, as part of this, as part of this, uh, collaboration with Goliath, they, they, they actually talk about America as if it's a Catholic idea. But we can easily see many signs that prove to us Contrary to these fakers and what they pretend is true about American life, we can see that this idea of American secular education and laws of compulsory education, we can see that these things are real enemies to Catholic culture, and I can prove that in a number of ways. First of all, in the 18, let's just say mid to late 1800s, the the bishops in the United States of America, as the Catholic Church began to assemble itself in the New World, the bishops gathered together at the center of the American Catholic Church in Baltimore, Maryland, and held a number of councils. And one of the primary concerns in those councils that were gathered was that the American public school system was anti-Catholic, and that the Catholic 
bishops and the pastors of the Catholic Church had to find solutions to protect Catholic children from the anti-Catholic American public school system. The church in the 1800s condemned what it called Americanism, condemned this idea that all institutions should be subject to democratic management and government. The Catholic parochial school system developed as a mission that was necessary, not as an option, but as a necessity in the 1800s, because Catholic children could not be sent to the public schools, because the schools were recognized as anti-Catholic. The curriculum was designed to serve the ideals of Americanism. The public schools were designed to serve two purposes. One, to prepare American children for service in the American workforce. And second, to train them in the principles of democratic society. That instruction in the public school system directly contradicted Catholic teaching on many different points. Subjects and studies that were once considered normal in Catholic education were removed from the curriculum. The most incredible of which was the study of the art of reasoning. Whereas reasoning was the whole focus of classical Catholic education, reasoning was eliminated from the curriculum in the modern American school. Moral philosophy was no longer taught according to the timeless and universal principles of Aristotle's Nicomachean ethics or according to the ideals of Christian moral theology. But moral philosophy in American schools was cut down to that morality of life which is beneficial for the state. The freedom promoted through liberal studies, which were a part of Catholic culture from the church's founding and even existed in society, secular society, before the founding of the church were rooted out of the education and true, true intellectual, moral, and religious freedom were replaced by a shallow appearance of them which was limited to a political freedom within restraints. The bishops in the 1800s knew what was going on and they went to such extreme measures as to make it mandatory that every Catholic parish provide a school for the Catholic children so that the children not go to the American public schools. 200 years later, it looks like the frog has boiled in the pot. There's been so much concession and compromise in American society that today 
the Catholic schools are closing and the children are knowingly being sent to American public schools which are infinitely worse than they were in the 1800s. In the 1800s, we had to worry about Protestantism and Americanism influencing Catholic children. Today, we could only dream that that was the problem we had to worry about. Today, to send a Catholic child to a public school would undermine religion itself. They do not pray in a public school. They do not acknowledge the existence of God in a public school. They don't recognize the authority of parents in public schools today. They teach contrary to nature itself in modern public schools. And yet, while the bishops were careful to protect the children in the 1800s, today, there's no such protection. And it's because this Goliath of this modern, secular government education system has been surrendered to. Catholics have accepted his terms. If you eliminate this, 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 and this, I'll let you pass. And Catholics have agreed to eliminate all of those essentially Catholic elements of their culture. Like I said, the classical liberal arts have been essentially Catholic throughout church history. They're no longer even known, let alone studied. Classical philosophy is scoffed at and replaced by quote-unquote modern science, which modern people don't understand is a different philosophy. Certainly not the philosophy held by the doctors of the church or St. Thomas Aquinas. They imagine or they deceive themselves into thinking that it's something other than it is. And like I said, they strip off all of their Catholic culture to get past this Goliath. The modern Catholic schools do the same thing. In many Catholic schools, one doesn't even need to be a Catholic to be a teacher of the Catholic school curriculum, which should tell us something. If it's not essential for the teachers to be Catholic, are the teachers actually teaching the Catholic essentials? Or are they simply teaching in the Catholic school what Goliath wants taught? Of course, that's the reality. And for Catholics, as long as you're willing to strip for Goliath, you're allowed to pass. And that's what Catholics have done. The same thing is true of homeschool programs. The homeschool programs do the same thing. They ask Goliath what he would like them to do, and when Goliath tells them, I want this and this and this and this and this, they do what he asks. He lets them pass as no longer being a threat to his own mission, and they imagine that they have achieved something by surrendering.
The question is not how we can get past Goliath while leaving him in power or how we can get past Goliath after accepting all of his conditions and terms, but how we can actually defeat this Goliath and bring our Catholic stuff with us. That's the challenge. And finding the solution, finding the strategy to accomplish that mission and overcome that challenge is very difficult. Because this, this enemy is very powerful. He's very wealthy. He has tons of resources, millions of helpers. And even the people who are supposed to be with us make friends with him and leave us with no help. But because, or I should say, this Goliath has something similar to an Achilles heel. For all of the size and the wealth and the power and the support, that this Goliath enjoys. There is a weakness that makes him vulnerable. And that weakness is the fact that no one is actually committed to his philosophy and mission because there is no real philosophy and mission. He can be overcome because behind the appearance or all of the appearances that he presents to us, it's really a weak defense that he offers and when challenged we'll find that there's no real resistance. There's an illustration from Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress where Christian has to walk through a dark forest and there's a narrow path that he can see. He can see the narrow path going through the forest, but it's dark in the forest and he hears dogs growling in the forest. And yet he's told that there's nothing to fear so long as he stays on this path. And he rouses up in himself the courage to go ahead and walk into the forest. Actually, I forget if it's dogs or lions. It might be lions. doesn't matter. But as he walks on this path through the darkness, all of a sudden he hears these terrible animals begin running towards him, growling or barking. And at the last second, before they devour him, they're suddenly snapped backwards by a chain around their necks. And what he learns in the midst of the forest is that all of this terrible noise is just intended to intimidate and frighten someone from walking along the path through the woods. And the enemy's terror turns out to be only an appearance and no reality. And Christian walks through the forest on the path unharmed. Goliath, in this illustration I'm giving in the modern public school system, scoffs at Christianity, scoffs at classical Catholic education, scoffs at 
the patriarchs and the prophets and the apostles, scoffs at Christ himself, scoffs at the doctors of the church, scoffs at the ancient philosophers. And if there's any cowardice, any lack of confidence in us, that scoffing is overwhelming. He threatens us. He threatens us that unless we accept his conditions and terms, we'll never be able to exist, we'll never be able to live, we'll never be able to work. And Christians listen to all of his arguments, all sophistical, and they fall for them, and especially because they don't study what they're supposed to be studying. And so at some point, to some degree, they give in in order to get past. And that's what we see happening to Catholic culture and Catholic education in America. But like I said, this Goliath is all talk All bark, no bite. He's just never challenged. He's like the animals in the forest, hoping to keep people away, but aware that if anyone actually challenges, there won't even be a fight. It's like in the Christmas story, which we just watched over the holiday season, when Ralphie finally has all he can stand of Scott Farkas, and he beats him to a bloody pulp. And everybody sees that Scott Farkas isn't so tough after all. It just takes somebody to be willing to, to fight him. And that's what I believe is true of this Goliath of American compulsory education. The reason why this Goliath is not what he appears to be is because the standards are so low and those who serve him in all the schools, all the teachers, all the parents, all the students, none of them are diligent. None of them are committed. None of them are serious. And the standard of their achievement is so low that their low standards and low achievement present us with that hole in his armor where we as Catholic people can strike and defeat him because we can actually outperform and outachieve his system. We can outperform and outachieve his system in demonstrable ways that will prove our system to be superior and will eventually take him out of the way. Only the classical Catholic curriculum can do it. There's no modern Catholic curriculum that can do it. Modern Catholic programs, all they can do is produce the same results. And that allows the scoffing to go on. Pathetic. pathetic results that allow that scoffing to go on. The classical Catholic curriculum, the classical liberal arts, the actual study and mastery of of classical philosophy and the study of Catholic theology, however, if Catholics have the guts to engage in them, can allow them to demonstrably 
outperform this modern system and overcome it and destroy it. And the only hope that exists for this system to be overcome, the only hope that exists, the only possible source of an educational program that can overcome this Goliath of the American public school system is the classical liberal arts. The education of saints and wise men through history. It can actually outperform this system and destroy it. And yet, because this system is managed by the government, it has to be served. And so, what's needed is almost a Trojan horse-like solution that can get in, appear to be a friend, but then destroy it from within. That's the challenge. And I'm sorry if this is getting deep or complex, but this is a very complicated challenge, and that's why there's no solution to it. If you look at other homeschool programs, they can have all kinds of bells and whistles and dress and makeup on, but they're just modern school programs. They don't teach the essential, traditional Catholic subjects. They're not teaching classical moral philosophy or Aristotle's organon. They're not teaching scholastic philosophy. There's no religious vocations. That's not coincidental. They're all conceding, compromising, and surrendering and pretending for the sake of money that they actually offer something different, but they don't. And coming up with a solution, with a strategy that can actually take out this opponent is difficult. Very, very difficult. Because like I said, it's the government. We have to Fulfill and overcome it at the same time. That's the challenge. But I believe that I believe that we can offer a solution. And that's what I'd like to to present to Catholic parents and invite Catholic parents to join me in. <clears throat> Today I posted a first lesson, a lesson on the Academy website and also a video on YouTube. The first lesson in what's going to be the Classical Liberal Arts Academy's high school diploma program. In order for us to allow our children to pursue real classical Catholic studies without compromise, we can't pick one or the other. We can't choose to submit to the modern public school curriculum or pursue classical Catholic studies. We can't choose one or the other because, like I said, the government is the leader of the other program and requires us to fulfill its terms. The weakness of this program is that the standards are so low. That's the Achilles heel or the the hole in the armor. The low standards of the modern secular educational system and what they actually produce is their weakness. 
And what Catholics need to do is fulfill all of their curriculum requirements in the most efficient way possible. Fulfill all their requirements and leave sufficient time and opportunity for the pursuit of extraordinary Christian objectives in education that will set the Christian student apart from all of his peers and will cause everyone to lose confidence in that system. The only way to overcome this enemy to Catholic culture is to beat it at its own game and then to go above and beyond all that it offers and requires and show Catholic education to be superior. As long as Catholics choose one or the other, they lose. As long as they choose one or the other, they lose. If they choose exclusive classical studies, they will lose because they'll be in all kinds of trouble in modern society. The children will, will face so much stress in their personal lives that they'll eventually quit. The parents will face practical struggles and anxieties that will make them quit. If we choose one or the other, we will lose. The only way to defeat this is to beat the American secular educational system at its own game and to leave it in the dust when we ascend above and beyond it after having completed all that it requires. This is the challenge. This is the weakness of the secular educational system. This is the weakness of the compulsory school requirements that these schools achieve so little. If we compromise and get in line with their program and abandon our classical Catholic curriculum will produce low results just like them and fulfill all of the accusations they make against Catholic education. If we try to rebel against them and not do what they require, but do something else instead, they'll argue from the appearance that we accomplish less that we actually have less to offer. And in saying that, they're right. We have to show ourselves actually superior by actually achieving more. We have to beat them at their own game and then ascend beyond them to greater things and leave them in the dust, as it were. That's what we have to do. And figuring out how to do that has been the challenge that I've been wrestling with for a long time. But I have the solution. I really do have the solution. The Classical Liberal Arts Academy High School Diploma Program will beat the public school curriculum at its own game. We will fulfill the law and then exceed it, which is what Christians are supposed to do. The law says that our children need 120 hours of instructional time in five subject areas. 
and this I'm talking generally. I know that individual states may have more or less required, but that's spot treatment stuff. Obviously, if they require less, we don't care. If they require more, it's usually a few isolated things. But the real bread of the issue, the meat and potatoes of the issue of compulsory education is that students are required to have 120 hours of instructional time in five subject areas. That's what the modern schools provide. This massive national institution of public schools. And all of the private schools just copy them with inferior programs. We need to provide our children with 120 hours of instructional time in five subject areas. Those five subject areas are English, mathematics, science, history, and foreign language. English, mathematics, science, history, and foreign language. We need to provide our children with 120 hours of instruction in those subjects for four years to fulfill the requirements of a modern high school diploma program. Now, this can be done very simply, but modern schools and homeschool programs don't do it. This is, this is the Achilles heel. Modern public schools, modern homeschool programs, modern Catholic schools, it doesn't matter. They all do the same thing. They do not provide 120 hours of instruction to their students. They do much less. But they get away with it because, like I said, they're willing to compromise. And so they're allowed to get away with it. They do much less. If we attempt to do more, the government will not come to us with the standards of what the other schools actually do and achieve, but they'll come to us with what the law says is necessary. The public schools, the private schools, even the home schools don't do what the law says. They do far less. And in this hypocrisy of theirs lies their weakness and our opportunity. In order for us to get past this, we have to fulfill the law. Because if we fulfill the law, there's nothing they can say. If we do what they do, they can get us. And this is what they do. They'll come after a private school or a home school for not fulfilling the letter of the law when the public school doesn't fulfill it either. But that doesn't matter because the state is on the side of the secular education. In order to be safe and therefore free, we need to fulfill the letter of the law. We need to provide our children with 120 hours of instruction time, not busy work, not workbook activities, not just class activities, not field trips, not study time, not reading time, not test time, not all of the other stuff that modern teachers and homeschool parents use to just fill out the time, that's not what's required. They get away with it because they all agree on low standards. We need to provide 120 hours of instruction time in those five subject areas. If we do so, there's nothing they can say. 
So what I'm going to do in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy's high school diploma program is provide 120 hours of actual instruction in each of the five subject areas for each year of a high school education. In order for Catholic children to fulfill the requirements of a high school diploma and transcript, they are simply going to need to work through these hours of instruction and prove that they've completed the hour by submitting an assignment and that will fulfill all high school requirements to the letter of the law and put us above reproach. I'm going to provide 120 one-hour instructional videos in high school English, high school mathematics, high school science, high school history, and high school foreign language for freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior years of high school. I'm going to provide 120 hours of instruction time for the students that they can complete, they can demonstrate their completion through an assignment that will be graded, and they can fulfill in the most efficient way possible the requirements of modern high school education. Once those requirements are completed, and I mean completed day by day, not all completed entirely, once the requirements are completed, or once we have a plan where we know that we are completing the requirements, our children, our families, our private schools will be free to pursue classical Catholic studies. Or, to be fair, anything we want. But until we overcome these requirements, they'll control everything we do. And because most schools and most parents don't know how to fulfill them, they control Catholic education and culture today. But the low standards and their own failure to keep the law is their weakness. The law doesn't say you have to attend their schools. The law doesn't say you have to teach with their books or even teach their content. The law has established time as the measure. And ultimately, the test will be standardized testing. And to be fair, we can't, we can't say that because our scores are 50 points higher that we have a superior program. If their SAT scores are 1050 or 1060 and ours are 1150, we can't say, see, we're superior. They can easily refute that argument by pointing to the student body in their schools. And if they were to present a a fair comparison, they would defeat the homeschool students. And homeschool parents know this. They know the standards are low. But we have to satisfy their requirements and then be free to pursue other things without any thoughts or any influence or any control of that modern school system. And the only way we can do that is if we first satisfy the requirements. The Classical Liberal Arts Academy High School Program will satisfy every high school requirement for Catholic students. Every student will understand what he has to do to complete his high school requirements. There will be 120 
hours of instruction with assessments, and he'll simply need to work through them one by one over the course of a school year. And that will be true in all five subject areas. A Catholic mother will know exactly what her child needs to do and can very easily make sure he does it one hour at a time through the whole high school diploma program. The program will have grades and transcripts and a diploma, everything that a Catholic family needs. It can be used by homeschool families or private schools. And the goal of this high school diploma program is to fulfill all high school requirements for Catholic students. Completely fulfill, even exceed. And will do so in an efficient way that leaves families with time and money and energy to add to those studies and pursue real Catholic studies without any compromise or distraction. And when they engage in those real Catholic studies, that's where the separation will take place. And Catholics will overcome this secular school system and these compulsory school requirements and will cause everyone else watching to see a different standard established that makes the modern school system insufficient. And that's the only way to actually overcome this modern situation with compulsory secular education. To overcome it and exceed it so obviously that others lose confidence in it and look to the Catholic study program and God willing Catholic schools as the alternative, as the superior alternative. The only way to defeat anything in America is by means of the democratic process by which they destroy everything. The fact that the people can vote is what causes the destruction in the first place, but it's also the weakness and what allows us to take the power back, as it were. We have to overcome by outperforming not by criticism, not by boycotting, not by protesting, not by doing less, but by doing more. By proving our superiority by our actual achievement. And all of these fake programs and fake movements and fake protests that just excuse Catholics and allow them to do less need to be called what they are and a real alternative introduced that demonstrates its superiority. And that's what's going to be available in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy High School Diploma Program. Students can be enrolled in this program. There will be five subject areas per grade level starting in high school. This is just high school. K to eight is, is insignificant. It will start in high school. Students can enroll in the five subjects. It will cost $125 per subject. So $625 per year for four years, which will be a total of four years, will be a total of $2,500. That will include 
video-based instruction, lesson materials, assignment grading, record keeping, transcripts, and a diploma. Everything a Catholic student needs for a high school education. Everything. Everything. Catholic parents will simply need to direct their kids through the completion of every individual hour of instruction, 120 per year. That may sound like a lot, considering so many families do so much less than that. It's not going to be the typical modern homeschool busy work or time filler or activity box to be checked. It's going to be actual instructional time. But 120 hours divided by 365 days is obviously far, far less than half an hour, more like 20 minutes. And if we consider that school days in a normal school calendar only number 180, it's 40 minutes per day times five subject. That's 200 minutes per school day. 200 minutes per school day divided by 60 minutes per hour is three hours and 20 minutes per school day for 120 hours of instruction time fulfilling all the requirements of a high school education. That's how easy it will be. And if we can fulfill all of these requirements in three hours and 20 minutes a day for only 180 days, that leaves us with 185 days with no need to pay attention to modern school requirements And all the other hours of those 180 days after those public high school requirements have been completed. The use of that time will be what makes Catholic education stand out. But the Classical Liberal Arts Academy's high school diploma program will provide that instructional time for the students, providing everything they need for a high school diploma. All that they're going to need to do are complete assignments that show that they have completed those hours of instructional time. They'll be graded on those assignments All of their records will be maintained. They can have reports for report cards or any requirements of any state school evaluators. Anything that's necessary will be available. And in the end, they'll be given a diploma and will have a transcript of all of their high school studies. It will cost only $125 per subject per year of high school. A total of $625 per year. That includes everything. A total of $2,500 for an entire high school education. I posted the first lesson and the first video today just as a dry run for myself to get going and I'm all ready to go. I'm going to start publishing these lessons this week, this weekend, getting started and I'm going to continue throughout the year teaching the entire freshman high school program in 2022 and 2023. Then once that's finished, I'll take up the sophomore year in 2023 and 24, the junior year in 24, 25, the senior year 25, 26. So this whole program 
will be completed with students graduating in 2026. As soon as I begin publishing the lessons, I'm going to open enrollment and I'm going to work on producing three hour lessons per subject area per week. And I'm just going to go week by week by week. Catholic families are welcome to enroll. I'm going to make enrollment available starting this weekend. And we're just going to get rolling. The official opening of the program, as far as the school calendar goes, will be September 2022. But it will be open immediately for anyone who wants to get a head start and start working. And I'd obviously appreciate if families do that because it will put pressure on me to get going and will help us to work out any kinks before September. But like I said, this will provide 120 hours of instruction by means of video in each of the five subject areas for a complete high school education with grades, a diploma, and transcripts along the way. If Catholic parents enroll their children in this program, they will be able to get the high school requirements done in a half a day of study just on the normal days of school throughout the year. And all of the rest of the time will be free for those kids to pursue God helping them real classical Catholic studies with complete freedom. That's what I'm hoping to see. I'm not doing this so that lazy families can do less, even though I know that they will. That's the problem with Catholic culture in the first place. They settle for secular standards. And the, the, the secular society expects them to do so. That's how the bread and circuses of government propaganda works. If you set the standards low, even Christians will stay near that standard. But when Christians take up the mission of real Christian culture and education, they exceed those standards, and that's when the Christians become dangerous to unbelievers. And we need to be dangerous. This program will allow Christian students to resume the free pursuit of classical Catholic education while also satisfying all the requirements of modern secular education, leaving Catholic students above all reproach and free to pursue Catholic culture and Catholic learning. This hour-by-hour hour solution is the key. What other programs do wrong is they try to Catholicize school days or content. And the public school requirements have little or nothing to do with content. They have to do with time. And the right way to fulfill these requirements is by the time. Not allowing the secular educational program to affect the content of our education, not allowing it to affect the calendar of our year, not allowing it to affect the subjects we study or the books that we use, but simply the time. The time is the requirement. And we need to give Caesar what is Caesar's. And what is Caesar's is the time. 120 hours per subject per year, period. We're going to give Caesar 
his time. But we're not going to give Caesar control of the curriculum. We're not going to give Caesar control of the schedule or of the calendar or of the content. We're going to give him his time. And we're going to beat him at his own game. These courses will be opening this weekend and this will be a focus of my work for the next four years because as much as I want to pursue the restoration of classical Catholic education, we have to get past this opponent first. We have to free ourselves from this distraction of modern education requirements. We have to set the kids free so they can know that they're completing everything that they're required to complete and are pursuing these Catholic studies in freedom, above and beyond what's required. Catholic parents need this certainty, this confidence, this freedom from anxiety in order to pursue higher standards, knowing that all the requirements are taken care of. In order for me to promote and restore classical Catholic education, I need to set Catholic students and parents free from the anxiety of this compulsory education. And that's what I'm going to do in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy High School Diploma Program. And in doing this, I'm not going to abandon my mission of restoring classical Catholic education, I'm going to actually enable the pursuit of that mission without any obstacles. That's a necessary step in this mission. To restore classical Catholic education, we first have to take down modern secular education. The way we take down modern secular, secular education is by beating them at their own game and taking advantage of their weakness, which is low standards. We're going to give Caesar his time and devote everything else to classical Catholic education. So I invite Catholic parents to learn more about this high school diploma program. Talk to me about it. I'll post more information. Like I said, there's a sample lesson, a sample video that shows what I'm going to do. And it's just going to be that simple from beginning to end. That simple. We can look and say, well, why can't kids use Khan Academy? Doesn't that cover the high school material? No, it doesn't. First of all, Khan Academy is primarily math and science based. So that's the first problem with something like Khan Academy. Second, Khan Academy is secular, so you're not solving any problem. You're just finding another way to do the same thing. But third and most importantly, what Khan Academy fails at is they they don't address the diploma requirements. They don't address the real time requirements, and so they still leave parents and students wondering, where am I? What do I need to do? When am I finished? And so on. It still doesn't address the real cause of the anxiety and confusion that parents and students have. The Classical Liberal Arts Academy's high school program directly addresses the necessary issue which is the requirement for 120 hours of instruction. Not busy work, not book work, not homework. 120 hours of actual measurable instruction time. We fulfill that requirement explicitly and directly. That's the difference. 
And we do so without compromise. As I teach through these lessons, you can be assured that not only are we going to cover all the content, but we're going to use good source materials to do so. And I'm going to provide explanations and commentary that makes sure that these kids don't just get a secular, empty education, but they have thoughtful, reflective, Catholic discussion in these lessons as we go through this material. But we're going to directly address the requirements and directly serve the need that parents have to provide their children with a diploma for high school and a transcript that shows that every subject has been completed. So, I invite you to get more information. And if you're eager to get going with this, go ahead and enroll because I'm ready to go. Sample lessons up and more will be coming. God bless your studies.